on Thursday is flagged. Julia, uh, between now and then, let's uh, get a little bit more specific on another stock, and that's Technology One full year numbers today. Uh, what specifically will you be eyeing? Customs, this is quite a successful homegrown Australian business. And if we have a look at this company, it's in the software area. It not only develops its own software, but then it also goes on to service uh, its software as well. And if we have a look at this company, this is one company that does spend quite a bit in terms of research and development, around about 20% of its net profit. But it's got some big clients on its books. A lot of it. The, business does come from governments, uh, state and federal as well as local governments but it's also expanding into areas like the financial sector, the utility sector, the healthcare sector as well as community services. So this one's going to be an interesting one to watch. Now we have seen the shares already rising 33% uh, this year. We're expecting to see a full year profit result of about $23 million. The company's own forecast is for profit growth of 10 to 15% so we will be watching for that one closely but of course we know that some technology companies have been under pressure because local governments have been cutting costs so we're going to watch to see if technology one is affected but if we have a look at this company there is a lot of reoccurring revenue and that should buffer it to some extent so we'll be watching that full year result coming out from technology one the shares doing well in 2012 so finally the last 52 weeks up by more than 30 percent Talk another stock uh, flexi group uh, is this stock priced to perfection or priced for perfection right now uh, and if, if anything if we see a downturn in the economy, what might that mean for Flexi Group? It is pretty much priced for perfection and it's been an amazing run for Flexi Group. If we have a look at the last year, its shares are up by a massive 68% and this is what the share price graph looks like. So it's looking good and this is a company that is aligned with Harvey Norman. Since 1995 they've had an alliance in place and of course Flexi Group is a company which looks at uh, financing at zero interest rate costs at the point of sale. So when you go into a Harvey Norm Norman store and you want to buy a laptop and you want financing for the laptop, it's probably Flexi Group that's providing it. Now the share price has also been helped and supported by a new contract with IKEA and revenue started to come through in July and that's really helped this business. And if we have a look at this business, it's a high margin business. There's very low levels of capital involved so it has high performance metrics. If we have a look at the return on capital, it's around about 40% and if we have a look at the net profit margin, that's around about 20%. So some very attractive metrics there. So on one hand, we've seen retailers like Harvey Norman struggling, we've seen the share price struggle, its business struggling, but on the other hand we've seen this financing group that deals with Harvey Norman doing quite well, the share price up by 68% in the last year. Now the AGM doesn't kick off until 3pm in Sydney today so we are expecting to hear some comments later on in the day, but one thing we're going to be watching out for is the CEO transition. Now CEO John Delano has already indicated that he's looking at stepping down so we'll be watching that CEO transition. There is quite a strong management team in place here so I don't think there's a lot of concerns but that's one of the things we'll be watching at the AGM today. Just, just as a thematic though in terms of earnings and dividends if you do get rises in interest rates uh, pegged to people who uh, you know are, are looking at handling their risk not least of all you're wanting to get new business through the door and you're worried about maybe bad debts ballooning it could be perfect storm couldn't it out into the future. You're right that credit quality is an important one when it does come to a group like Flexi Group. But the good thing is that even though we have seen a relatively difficult time, one of the things that we have been seeing here in Australia is interest rates falling. And if we have a look at their book, it's actually been quite a healthy one over the last 52 weeks. So you're right that usually in this type of business, we do look at credit, credit worthiness of the books. And that certainly was a problem during the global financial crisis. But over the last year, the book is looking pretty healthy.